everybody. In this video, I'm going to go over a semi-easy way on how to navigate the chord changes on the George Gershwin classic Summertime. <laughs> If you want to see how I improvised over this tune, uh, you can check it out here, or it's probably over here, I'm not sure. And I already did a YouTube video of me improvising over this key, which I chose the same key as Miles Davis's George uh, Gershwin classic, Summertime as well. So it's on the Porgy and Bess album. Some of you may be familiar with that. Classic album with the Gil Evans collaborations on the arrangements. Beautiful tunes, beautiful arrangements. Without further ado, let's get started. So I have color coded a sheet on all the chord changes and I've tried to use what I call, and many people call harmonic generalization. And I've narrowed it down to four types of scales that we can use to improvise over this tune. Those four are, and I'm talking in trumpet key now, so C minor, is B flat key. I'm, I'm not talking in, in concert key. B flat major, E flat major, the G half step whole step diminished scale, which some of you may not be familiar with, as well as the C half step whole step diminished scale. So we're going to go over this, how to improvise, how to practice your scales, and how to navigate through this. Now, I know jazz isn't all about scales, but if you're new to this, or even intermediate, it's a great place to start in order to start making the changes. So in blue, you could see the C minor chords are all in, in relation to a B flat major scale. Well, what I'm doing here is I'm using C Dorian, which is the second mode of the major scale. So a B flat major scale, B flat C, D, E flat F, G, A, B flat, if you start on C, play the same exact notes, you get the C Dorian minor scale. But we're gonna think of it as B flat just for now. Then you could see in the fourth measure, it goes to C seven flat nine. Now this isn't the only way you can navigate through this, uh, this tune, but this is one way and you might as well get started on some way to do it. And I think this may be the easiest way. The C seven flat nine, anytime you have a C seven or a dominant seven scale, with the flat nine, you can use, of many choices, the half step, whole step, diminished scale. So what is that? It's a half step, followed by a whole step, followed by a half step, followed by a whole step. So you're gonna wanna get familiar with that scale as well. The next key we're gonna jump into is E flat. But if you look on the sheet, we have an F minor chord and a D minor seven flat five chord. A lot of fancy spellings if you're not used to these spellings. F minor seven, once again, we're gonna use Dorian minor, so that's coming a whole step below in E flat. And the D minor seven flat five, we're gonna use the seventh mode of the E flat major scale. So let's count up the E flat major scale. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat. The seventh mode, of the E flat major scale starts on D. So in essence, we're just using an E flat, we're using an E flat major scale starting on D. So for those two chords, we're gonna stay in E flat, which I've notated here in green. The other chords, let's jump to the other, other chords that are also in green. We've got E flat major, obviously you're gonna use the E flat major scale. C minor seven, we are not going to use the uh, B flat major scale or the Dorian mode. We're going to stay in E flat. D minor seven flat five, I already went over. And then you can see at the very bottom line, we're also going to do D minor seven flat five again. Now, the only chord we haven't gone over is in red or pink or whatever color that is. G seven flat nine. Now it's a dominant seven with a flat nine. So remember, in this case, we are going to use the G seven half step, whole step, diminished scale, or we call the G half step, whole step, diminished scale. So the play along I'm gonna use for this example is the iReal Pro. It's an app I love to use. Yes, it's not real musicians, but when you're sitting in your practice room alone and you want an accompaniment and you wanna have a lot of 
options is in regards to changing keys, changing tempos, changing styles, and you can also edit chord changes just in case the chord changes you have are not the ones you like. This is the app I use. So we're gonna start in B flat. Now let's do it on C. So we're gonna go C to C with the same two flats. Now we'll start on D, same thing. We'll start on E flat, valve sticking. it's important that you don't change your key signatures. Keep the two flats that are in the key of B flat major. Now the next scale we're gonna learn is the C half step, whole step diminished scale. And there's an extra note in this one. Okay, we're also gonna play this one diatonically from each scale tone. So that was for C to C. Now we're gonna start on C sharp. Which coincidentally is now a whole step, half step diminished scale. But if you're interested in all about these diminished scales, which are basically only two, I have a whole nother video that you can check out. I'll put it in the tag up top. Also put it in the description. All right, and then we would play it from, how did I write it here? From D sharp, and then from E, and then F sharp, and so on and so forth. So how does that sound transitioning from the C minor seven chord to the C seven flat nine chord? And then we're gonna jump into the F minor seven. Well, the F minor seven, remember, we're gonna use the E flat major scale. I'm just gonna use scales here, nothing fancy. Hopefully it'll sound like I'm playing the changes. So I kind of sped it up there so you can hear the tone quality change to the C7 flat nine. It adds a bunch of color notes, right? We've got the flat nine, we've got the sharp nine, the major third, the sharp four, the five, the six, regular six, not flat six, and the dominant seven. This will all make sense eventually. The more you do it, the more it makes sense. If you want even more information on all this, Jazz theory stuff, I highly recommend the Mark Levine Jazz Theory book. For some people, it's a little complicated depending on where you are in your uh, um, education as far as improvising and, and, and jazz theory and whatnot, but I have found it the best and easiest to understand book. Why am I talking backwards? Uh, the best and easiest book to understand in regards to jazz theory. Okay, so now we're on the F minor seven chord. So remember in F minor seven, we're gonna actually play the E flat major scale, which has three flats. Eventually you're gonna to wanna to think of it as just as an F minor. And eventually, eventually you're not gonna to wanna to really think at all. You're just gonna play melodies. One, two, mm. already navigated through the C minor, the C7 flat 9, the F minor 7. So we've got through blue, through yellow, and green. And guess what? Those chord changes are going to show up again. 
Now let's look at G7 flat nine. Remember, it's a dominant chord with a flat nine. One of our options is the half step, whole step diminished scale. That is the G set, uh, we don't call it the G7. It's the G half step, whole step diminished scale, as opposed to the G whole step, half step, which is a different scale that we use, that we use over G diminished chords, but I digress. Okay, so let's see how the transition from the green to the pink area to the blue area sounds. All right, so we're going F minor, D minor seven flat five, G seven flat nine to C minor, which is the, the key of the song. So we're navigating through one, two, three, four chords, but using three different scale tonalities. So hopefully you can hear a little bit of the color notes coming into play, the changes coming into play and how you can actually start to make the changes of the song by using these simple steps. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I do appreciate it. JeffLewisTrumpet.com is my website. I will have this sheet in the description so you can take a look at that. Start practicing, practicing your scales. If you want to email me, I'm at Jeff at JeffLewisTrumpet.com. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Thank you.